Good day everyone, Brad here with another mock alternate build of the Invisible Hand, another Star Wars mini skill ship. We've got the Stinger Mantis from Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. So let's take a closer look at some of these details. And here we are with the Invisible Hand set 75377. So everything you have in this box will let you build this here. The Stinger Mantis from the game Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. This one was actually a lot of fun to make. I've always loved this ship and I wanted to have some kind of Lego version. And when I looked at the Invisible Hand, the color palette matched. So that was kind of the first thing that gave me the idea of building this ship was that the colors worked. Um, and then as I started to go along, I, I came up with this. Now, one thing I do want to point out first of all is I'll show you some size comparisons. So here is the official uh, ex executor, super, executor, excuse me, Super Star Destroyer, and here's the Mantis next to it. You'll see it's obviously not quite as long, but it is pretty thick and quite bulky. So I think it's a good size, and it looks good on a shelf with the other midi scale ships. And I actually have another one. This is a uh, kind of a sneak peek because I'm still building it; it's in progress. But I am making an Acclimator Star Destroyer currently. Still have a lot of work to do on that one. But there you can see it side by side with the Mantis as well. Now, as far as features go, uh, I kind of want to show you underneath here. Because I tried to get some of those glass pieces here for the cockpit. And that kind of comes up here as well. So all along here is where the cockpit is. Um, one thing I am not able to do that I would have liked to, but I was kind of limited and I was preferring it to look good than to um, function as it does in the game. This right here does not move. This is solid. However, the vertical wing can adjust. So you'll see you could have it laying down horizontal or vertical and actually it can go over one more further if you want it to be doing like a dramatic lean something along those lines so you've got about a, I guess you'd say 100 degrees of range for this right here and it stays stable with the hinge however you do it uh, again, so we've got the other booster section, which is solid, locked in place, but I wanted it to look good uh, rather than be functional. And that way it could attach to the stand. And you'll see if I pop it off, this might be difficult with one hand here. This is where the stand connects, right along these four studs. And you can tell because you have uh, these two little vent pieces that I add there. So when you go to put it down, That'll be difficult with one hand, but it's very easy to know where it sits on the stand. And then as far as the colors go, um, I tried to do the blue where I thought it made sense because there isn't quite enough to do the ship exactly like it is in the game. But I do think it turned out quite well overall. All right, that is gonna do it for this look at the Stinger Mantis from Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. I don't actually know if I currently have any other invisible hand alternate builds that I want to make, um, just because it's kind of tricky to figure out ships that would work with the pieces and colors in that set. Uh, I will have instructions available in the link down below to build this if you are interested and for any of my other mocks. I, I'm going to do more with the Falcon, as you can see, I'm working on the uh, making an Acclimator Star Destroyer, and I'm going to take apart the Super Star Destroyer. I bought that one specifically recently to start making some mocks out of that as well. I have at least three in mind I think I can do with the Super Star Destroyer. So uh, keep an eye out for those ones. Hopefully I'll have that stuff made soon. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.